Hey everybody, good morning. I promised I'd get back to you with the answers on those two things that I said never to ever ask a buyer when you're first on the phone with them. Uh, one is, do you have a realtor? The other is, are you pre-approved? Right now, I'm gonna answer the, do you have a realtor? If I do both, it's gonna be a five minute video and I don't want that. So, and I know you don't either. Here's the thing. When you ask someone, do you have a realtor, what you are essentially doing is handing them a shield. You're giving them a shield to push you off. It's no different than walking in a department store. Think of it this way. We all go to the store, right? We walk in, we look around, clerk walks up and says, excuse me, could I help you? And what do we all say? No, right? Or we run, right? No, because no one at that moment wants to be sold. But then if you're me, within five minutes, you're like, Where'd that clerk go? I need help, right? Because you don't know where things are. It's the same difference. So when you're first on the phone with a buyer and you're saying, do you have a realtor? First thing they do is say, no, I'm, I'm sorry, is say yes. And the reason they do that most of the time is that is a defense mechanism to push you away. Let's think about it. How many people do you know that don't know a realtor? Everybody knows a damn realtor. Everybody knows two or three realtors. So when you say, do you have a realtor? Their natural reaction most of the time to push you off is yes. Then you hear yes and you start with the, well, you better call your realtor then. And there you go, you're pushing them away. So if you wanna be the realtor police, go ahead, keep asking. If you wanna convert more buyers, sell more homes, stop asking and watch what the results are. I guarantee you'll sell more homes and you'll end up working with more buyers. Have a good day, everyone.